Welcome my planner friends to 2022, my first faith plan. And what I want to use for my first faith plan is this beautiful, beautiful song. Um, it's a bit sad, it was used at my mother-in-law's funeral just before Christmas, but I just couldn't think of a better way to start the year. So I hope you'll indulge me, just let, let me read this to you. Other than that, it's mainly a decorate really alongside this song because I don't think I'm going to have time to do after the pen for you but I thought you'd be blessed with this so all the way my saviour leads me what have I to ask beside can I doubt his tender mercy who through life has been my guide heavenly peace divinest comfort here by faith in him to dwell for I know whatever before me Jesus doeth all things well for I know whatever before me Jesus doeth all things well and I'll let you look up the rest of this hymn it's really beautiful so let me get this stuck into my faith planner which is a horizontal and as you can see I've already stuck I've printed it out and stuck it on some pretty craft paper and then I'm going to be using Marabou designs to finish off my spread so i hope you guys are well hope you've had a fantastic christmas hope you're looking forward to the new year i really wanted something um to help me to focus on the fact that actually i've had some really tough stuff happen this year last year i should say um, and i think the thing is and i tell you this is very much my mother-in-law's character that at the end of the day it doesn't really matter what happens. Um, Jesus doeth, does, we don't need to say doeth, do we? He does all things well and, you know, he knows what his plan is for me and I need to accept that and I need to let go of some of the difficult things that I've been dealing with this year. Um, very difficult things. I need to let go of them because he knows what he's doing. So that's my thoughts on that. So I'm using Marabou Designs, so let me just show you. This is Marabou Designs. Um, it's a really pretty book, actually. I've not used it very much so far. So let's just put this here. Welcome the Unexpected. That's part of my thinking process at the moment, that just because I wasn't expecting some of those things to happen that happened to me, doesn't mean to say he's not in control. Then I've got this nice little priority tab here. So what I do is I use a theme for a whole week and I leave myself enough boxes and decoratives to kind of have some thinking processes throughout the week. So here is a nice tab which I can have here. And then on that tab I've stuck a little clear sticker there and I can put some of my priorities there as I build up my thoughts and let's get this decorative up here the good thing about faith planning is you can do it however you like whenever you like how, however often as you like there is no right way and you might like the way I do it it might give you some ideas or you might not like it but the point is Jesus doesn't care how you do it he just wants to be close so um, we often worry about how we do things but it's not important to God is it how we do things right so what I liked about this is it says start it's a nice start sticker so let's put that one there something lovely about the new year isn't there and a fresh start i think um so i'm likely what i'm what i normally do is i highlight stuff when i pick up verses from the bible and i'll do the same here so for example all the way my savior leads me so um all the way like there isn't anywhere where he's not leading me however difficult that might be um and as long as I dwell in faith with him, then I can I can cope with whatever comes comes my way. And somewhere it says about um, a winding path. Now, a winding path is not a straightforward path. We'd love to be in a situation where life is straightforward, but unfortunately, 
that isn't what we're called to we're not called to it being necessarily easy and so we can't always expect it to be so there's a nice little another little priority sticker there on top of a decorative and I've just put some little clear sticker there as well and another start sticker so as I say I'm likely to lift some phrases from here into these boxes and then once I've done that I probably will write out some practical examples for myself so generally what it means and then kind of like practical examples if you're interested in how I do that, I have done that on some of my other spreads. I've actually developed those thought patterns for you to see. So feel free to check those faith plans out on my faith planning playlist. Now, I'm not sure if I want that on there, but it's going to rip if I don't. So let's just have that in the corner like that. And over here, room for more writing. I mean, in a horizontal, you can just write anywhere. You don't have to have boxes. You don't have to have bullet points at all, really. It's all there for you. So that's the good thing about horizontal. It's not so easy to decorate, but certainly easy to write on when you have the lines already. So you can make use of the lines and not do any of this if you don't want to. needs to go over a little bit so it's the day after boxing day today so for two days of Christmas and family around so a little bit jaded but I <laughs> I told myself I wasn't going to come in and do anything in here but do you know what I really wanted to because I find that planning is it's a hobby and I enjoy it so here I am this says start now the sticker so put in start and now there we go I'm going to come over to the other side Let's finish off with some nice little stickers up here again I've added in some little envelopes in there Um, in my in one of my other videos you'll see that I've done a Franken plan and it shows that I've pulled out a couple of months into this Franken plan and at the beginning now I think it's at the end actually at the end of the two months I put in here I put in this envelope and in here I'm going to put some prayers prayer requests for the year and I'm going to leave them in there and look at them at the end of next year and I haven't done anything like that for a while and so this will help me to think of what those prayer requests will be so by the end of this plan I'll be thinking about what they are Okay, I think perhaps I can have something else maybe there and there. Let's just see what that might be. Sorry, that was my chair squeaking. Doesn't need to be much, does it? So I've got a light pink there, so I think we can have a heart. then thinking we haven't got much red probably need a little bit of red over here we always like to balance up a spread and try to get some sort of colors on either side if I can just to balance it up nicely but then you know sometimes you can overload a spread as well so yeah I think it's 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 easy to overload a spread and get too excited put too many things in I think start could go there. Uh, I think that's quite nice. I feel like I had 
one little flower left here look and yeah still need something there could be that we just put some bullet points in deep green and yeah there we go for that one in deeper red okay I think I'm happy with that I really love to develop this spread and the ideas with you but I know that that does actually make um, a video really long so I hope you've enjoyed that decorate and the idea of like taking a hymn that you really like means got some really good meaning to the words um, something quite different from what I normally do when it's normally Bible verses and mounting it and then kind of like getting your decoratives around hope you've enjoyed that and I hope you'll consider subscribing to Plan With Nairi thank you